Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we are going to be talking about the soil degradation and conservation. So we are going to be starting talking about the erosion, the process by which material such as topsoil is moved from one place to another, caused by natural processes and human activities, often occurs faster than soil is formed, depleting fertile topsoil, crops, trees, and other plants communities protect soil from erosion. So, in conclusion, erosion is the movement of stuff like dirt from one spot to another. It happens because of natural and things people do. Sometimes it's quicker than soil can be made, which is not good because it takes away the good rich dirt from the top. Plants like crops and trees help keep the soil safe from erosion. They act like a shield, making sure the dirt stays where it should be. This way, the soil stays healthy and can keep supporting plants' life. Then moving to farmer practices that reduce erosion. So, Farmers use various techniques to loosen erosion on their fields. One method is intercropping, where different crops are grown together. Another approach is crop rotation, where different crops are planted in alternating seasons. Shelter belts involve planting tall plants to block strong winds, reducing soil movement. Conservation is a practice that minimizes the amount of soil turnover during planting. Terracing transforms steep slopes into steps to slow down water flow and prevent soil washout. Contour farming is a method where crops are planted perpendicular to the slope of health, helping to trap water and prevent erosion. These farming practices help protect the soil, ensuring its long-term fertility and sustainability. So, in summary, we have the intercropping, which different crops mix together. We have crop rotation, which crops are alternate. We have shelter belts that tall plants block wind. We have conservation that soil turnover is reduced. We have terracing, which steep slopes turn into steps. And then we have contour farming, which planting perpendicular to health slope. Then we have ranching practices. So we have ranching is the raising and grazing of livestock. Overgrazing causes and worsen many soil problems. Range managers encourage grazing limits and enforce them on publicly owned land. So we have here overgrazing. So compact soil and damaged structure. We have removes native grass and expose bare topsoil. Then moving here, we have that it allows invasive species to outcompete native species because of alternate environment. Then we have decreases pores of air and decreases pores for water. So all of that will cause to decreases in grass broth and survival and leads to wind and water erosion. We are going to talk about this in detail as we are going to be creating posters, research problems and connect that to real life situations.